adding a heart rate monitor adds an interesting element to the stream which allows viewers to really get inside our chest and s have a visual representation of how our body is behaving in reaction to the games. I noticed this watching Ricky live stream. I've seen several other streamers using it since I saw it on his stream. I imagine he got it from someone else. And as you can see, I've got a live heart rate monitor over here. It's it's like right, right up here. You can see my heart rate in real time. I've got it strapped to my chest over here. I've got I've got this polar heart monitor strapped to my chest. And then I've got a mobile app called Pulsoid. All I do is put the heart rate monitor on my chest and sync it up with my phone via the Pulsoid app. Then I use OBS and I go with Pulsoid.net to take sign up and put my account in. Then I take the widget URL from Pulsoid, put it in OBS, and as you can see, I've got a live heart rate monitor. This is really fun, especially if you're playing competitive games and you get into heavy action, then your heart rate mon goes way up. I often find myself watching the heart rate monitor in relation to the other stream. This makes for the most interactive and fun stream. It's just another little thing we can do to take our stream to the next level in terms of engagement and interest. I'll show you a little more details on how to set this up now. I have a link to this, how to add a real heart rate to stream. I literally just Googled this to figure it out. It's, it's not that hard. So you Google it, or I'll put a link down here, how to add real heart rate to stream. This is on Medium. You scroll down here, and you can see the exact ones to use, the Polar H7 or Polar H10. Costs much more, but it's more stable, accurate, and has excellent quality. This is the one I'm using right now to record this video and that I do my live streams. It did cost something like $65 or something like that. Then this goes through instructions. You create an account on Pulsoid.net, download the mobile application, sign in with your account from Pulsoid.net, and it's super easy. Once you have your device synced up with it, you just configure the widget on Pulsoid.net. Then you paste it into a browser source in OBS Studio, put the size on it you want, and then you just drop that in and you've got it on there just exactly like I do. This article explains it and makes it super easy for you. And I'll have a link to this in the description. Thank you for watching this. I hope it's helpful for you for getting your heart rate up on the stream and uh, having the most engaging, interesting, exciting stream on Facebook gaming.